Shalom. Let us say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a short lesson in regards to the signs and uh, wonders that's happening throughout the world. And um, we're approaching, you know, the second coming of the Lord. And um, these are all signs that the, um, the apostles or the, the Heavenly Father or Aslak Yahweh Shai when he was on the scene you know what he was telling the apostles you know, that to look out for because uh, even though uh, basically uh, you know they thought that the kingdom wasn't gonna be coming right but basically it was in that time right and basically uh, we're still we're still waiting over uh, two thousand years later you know of uh, things to look out for you know so you know now that we're awakened we know who we are and uh, you know and uh, we're prophesying and stuff but uh, these are all these signs and things that's happening throughout the world is written so uh this is i'm gonna share this link i'm not gonna play it but this is turkey syria relief aids large Let's talk about Turkey, Syria relief aids with large one month after earthquake. All right, I'm going to share this link. I'm not going to play it. All right, because I don't want to get uh, striked. All right, but uh, let's get a scripture. Uh, this is going to be an impromptu. So uh, where the spirit permits, you know, I'm going to... Um, Inter the Spirit's gonna permit, the Holy Spirit's gonna permit. Matthew uh, 20, 24 verse 3. And as he, as he sat on, upon the, the Mount of Olives, disciples came upon him. The disciples came unto him, privily saying, Tell us, what shall these things be, and what shall be the signs of thy coming, and the end of the world? And uh, you know th that's where the uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, he was telling his disciples. So, so the disciples was asking, you know, like, when is this thing is gonna happen? What you know, what are things that we have to look out for? All right, and uh, we're living in these things now. Right, because uh, it wasn't that time, you know. It was uh, it, this was a, a puzzle. This is a you know, this is a mystery, you know. But now we're seeing, you know, that uh, we're seeing that the fall of uh, the so-called Roman Empire, you know, the Edom, uh, you know, that like the Edomite, you know, power structure. We see that uh, the ten toes is is about to be falling right and the rock you know uh he's gonna take take over man right when you read into uh daniel you know about the ten toes and the rock you know he's gonna break the whole image man their whole image because this is their enterprise to have um everybody in perpetual bondage you know so let's go tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. Alright, so there are a lot of people, you know, saying that they are the Lord, you know, um, that comfy, you know, call himself a comforter. Um, there's a whole bunch of different people, man. You know, uh, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh. That, you know, there's a whole bunch of people that want to act like they're the, the Messiah coming back. All right. 
um the only thing that we're gonna like the only way that we're gonna know when the Messiah is coming back is when uh you know during this war third world war that they you know basically uh you know the angels and the Yahweh Shai is gonna come with uh, with this big uh, host of angels you know with his uh, so-called UFOs Matthew uh, 13 all right so uh, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying I am the anointed shall deceive many and he, ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see see that ye be not troubled for for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet so um we're approaching that time you know um we're approaching the end right but uh we, certain prophecies have to come up and we've seen what they're doing with this whole uh, basically uh this whole um like this whole utopia of the society that we live in here in the west throughout um north america here in america and canada and throughout the world you know throughout the uk all over they want to uh, have complete control of your uh, spending habits uh, you know they're they're planning on having these 15 minute cities you know um, i'm gonna show you this thing uh, one second one second Been here at this gas station and I was trying to open this door. Been here at this gas station and I was trying to open. Been here. Yeah, and this is for, for, uh, for educational purposes. So I'm gonna play this. this. Gas station and I was trying to open this door and I could not open it. You see how they're numbered? I was getting something for a video, a natty light I need. So I have to go over to this machine. Have you guys ever seen this before? Look. And you put your ID face down in it, and then it takes a picture. It like scans your face, and then you type in the door that you want to open, and then it unlocks the door for you. I have never seen this before. Yeah, so we're approaching this cashless society, you know, and uh, they show you these things in uh, that movie Demolition Man. That was one of my favorites as a child. Demolition Man and Terminator 2. Judgment Day. Uh, Terminator uh, 1 as well. Those were my favorite uh, movies, man. And uh, we are living, you know, with uh, the rise of the AI. With the artificial intelligence. And um, Terminator, man. And um, that whole Terminator 2, uh, Terminator 1, mate, the, the, like the Matrix was uh, written by a black woman named um, Charlotte Sophia and uh, she's like a, she has a many books and basically uh, you know the small hats they uh, you know they they use that they stole uh, her uh, her idea you know cuz um, basically and uh, they made that movie Terminator 1 Terminator 2 you know the, these other team learners and um, the matrix you know because uh, we're living in this matrix you know this artificial intelligence the rise of the machines we're living it um, I didn't really get to uh, read any of her books but uh, hopefully in the future I could uh, read you know some of her books but uh, we're living in these things man um, the artificial, the rise of the machine. You know. uh, 50 minute cities, you won't be able to buy and sell. Let's get that. You know, you could continue to read this Matthew 24, verse 3 and 6 or 7. You know, but um, because we're living in that time, man. So, uh, 
you know, we don't know what's gonna happen. We, we know within the next couple of months, next, you know, by uh, by the New Year's, you know, and during basically uh, during uh, the fall or during the the winter, you know, um, things are gonna be changing, man. So uh, we gotta brace ourselves. We gotta um, stay rooted. You know, and uh, Yahweh Shai, he's going to uh, pass through Egypt again, man. Uh, this is Revelation 13 and uh, 14. And deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had made, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, right? With um, their artificial intelligence, AI. All right, with um, you know what Elon Musk, you know what they're uh, what they want to push in, you know they're pushing people to um, you know to be see hip, you know and basically um, it's gonna do all kind of different wonders, you know if you're uh, if you weren't able to walk, they're gonna you know that they're gonna have you able to walk and you know through uh, basically. Uh, the transhumanism you know and we're living in this transhumanism agenda throughout the world that's why uh, we need Yahweh Shai and the angels to intervene man on our behalf because uh, you know ultimately it's under it's, we're just waiting for the Heavenly Father you know to give uh, his angel to give Yahweh Shai the go ahead man because uh, it's gonna get so bad things is getting so scarce man by the means of those miracles which he had power which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image unto the beast which had the which which had the wound by the sword and did live right so uh you know during during our fall you know because uh byzantine empire you know um you know the the holy roman empire you know we were in power basically uh we fell you know with um you know the fall of constantinople then uh, you know the ottoman turks came you know and um you know 1492 the fall of uh, granada spain you know granada that's one of the last uh, more strongholds and um, basically isa rose up you know with uh, alexander alexander um like the six of rome you know and um the borgias family you know and um even though some of our people were royalty in Europe, eventually uh, that power fell, and uh, Esau came. You know they, uh, you know, and uh, Esau came, and we we fell, man. And basically, uh, he's living right now. You know, with this whole uh, North Atlantic uh, Treaty Organization. You know, because. Uh, you know they uh they had like the treaty of rome you know if you go on the internet um you know with uh basically the military their their uh their edomite like military uh powers who's uh ruling this like the world you know and um the european union you know that's their uh their financial bank uh power um basically as well as their military which would be in uh, washington dc the district of columbia that would be uh, like their military um like the london the city of london would be would be like their financial uh power as well as uh the vatican or the city of the Vatican would have been um, their church or right? not uh, the false prophet in Revelation 
and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right and basically uh, this is going to be an open rebellion against uh, the Israelites against the saints those who are standing up you know to their nationality you know and um, ultimately they want uh, uh, they're gonna make all out war against uh, against the saints man. you know and uh, so this we gotta brace ourselves we have to be circumspect um, stay in constant prayer meditation you know and um, because uh, no, this world the world is changing as we know it things is uh, changing very rapidly man so we gotta brace ourselves for these things cause uh, the devil he's coming down with great wrath cause he know that he have but a short time left and he cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So the karagma. All right. All right. And um, it's not going to be, uh, I believe this guy, one of these guys in the IORC, um, is saying that the image is, is the, uh, you know, worship. Basically, he's saying, that the image of Yahweh Shai or the Christ, you know, is uh is the image. So it's like so what they're doing, man, um, you know, these guys are uh, you guys are you know you guys are misleading like you guys are misleading the flock. Alright? Cause we're telling you who you know like what the mark is, alright? Uh, and uh, we see that uh, I'm going to put this here This woman You know that We see that the mark is, is Being here at this gas station And I was trying to open this door And I could not open it You see how they're numbered I was getting something for a video A natty light I need So I have to go over to this machine Have you guys ever seen this before? Look and you put your ID face down in it, and then it takes a picture, it like scans your face, and then you type in the door that you wanna open, and then it unlocks the door for you. I have never seen this before. Yeah, so this is uh, this is all prophecy, man, and uh, you won't be able to buy or sell. So let's say you go to your, uh, your gas station or your convenience store, your uh, local, uh, shopping mall right and uh you won't be able to buy or sell man all right unless you have uh the facial recognition in your head or with the chip the c hips like yeah? the c hip you know and uh you know or in their flesh i, I also i went to the the the, the um i'm gonna pause this been here at this gas station and i was trying to open so I have to go over to this machine. Have you guys ever seen this before? Look. Yeah, when I was when I was uh, like before the Passover, all right. Uh, we're getting I got was getting some supplies, so I went to get uh, some yayan, some wine, and uh, at the LCBO, and basically there was a guy in front of me, uh, an Edomite looking guy, all right, and basically. Uh, he had a he had a bracelet it looked like a smart bracelet or whatever and he uh it was like a black was black and basically uh he scanned his hand all right so he didn't use like a card he he scanned his hand with that card so uh the next step is to is to get that in your blood in your flesh all right so um I want to take a picture, but it was moving. It was so fast, you know, that I wasn't able to um, like to capture it on my phone. But yeah, so this thing is getting. This thing is moving, you know, warp speed. You no, know? Operation Warp Speed. While um, you know, like Joe Biden, he kept on emphasizing in uh, 
you know that he's kept on emphasizing to the people for many uh, you know for the past couple of years past two years all right let's uh, look at the uh, mark Karagma a stamp um, and imprinted all right because uh, you know you're gonna have to get that imprinted in your flesh all right to uh, you know, because that's gonna be the new currency, the Sihib. A mark stamped in your forehead or in the right hand as a badge of a, a follower of the Antichrist. So there's many Antichrists, right? But uh, basically, you know, this whole system, you know, is against the Lord, right? And basically, uh, you know, if you get it, if you get the Sihib, you know, you're against, you know, against the anointed you're the anti-anointed man all right so uh we're trying to stay anointed man like we don't want to be branded you know by uh you know by the edomites you know by this whole world system the mark branded for upon horses a thin carved sculpt sculpture graven image yeah this is a graven image all right we're not supposed to bow down you know and make uh you know onto these graven images all right exodus uh 21 and i believe no exodus 20 you know we're not supposed to be bound down to these uh graven images man all right um and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of the name so uh so these guys like they already made up their mind man and um a lot of these guys in the whole uh these different organizations these israelite organizations are gonna get it man and they're gonna um and they're gonna sell and they're gonna basically uh send our people uh you know to this uh to this segment like to this image man and uh basically that's why like yahweh shy when he comes all right he's gonna judge them all right uh revelation 14 and 9 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast or the image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine and the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture in the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and, pre and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the lamb so you know with the lord all right so this is the cup of the lord's indignation i believe isaiah 63 all right so uh, with that uh, with that, like, uh, that, like, let me keep going. And that the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they had no rest day or night who worshiped the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Right? So, uh, you no, know, even after the destruction, you know, the Lord, He's not, he's not going to be dealing with people who have that sea hip in them, man. Right? All right, they're gonna have to uh when the lord when you have when the lamb comes you know he's gonna um he's gonna put them uh asunder man here's the patient here is the patient of the saints here is here are they that keep the commandments of yahweh and this faith of yahweh shai all right so uh we're we're praying that we're of the hopeful members of the elect which uh, I uh, pray to be because we all have to work our own salvation with fear and trembling because uh, these things that's coming is uh, this is a thing that's going to try our faith so uh, we got to endure you know and uh, you know cry out to the Father man you know so with that, let us all praise the do unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash, the ones of the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom.